Hi, my name is Vinny B, and some of you may know, but I've been working a lot this past year on a smart Hayabusa. And since my bank of points of 3D has been so we can go back work in his shop is completely empty, I, we decided to build a greenhouse for my lovely wife. And because wood and steel are now, by weight, the same price as gold, thank you COVID, I'm planning of using an old carport and some pallet wood to try to build the nicest, winterproof and cheapest greenhouse for my love. So stay tuned if you want to see my mistakes and my good moves on how to build this greenhouse. Let's go! Good to start off, I've got these brand new skids, never been used. So let's tear them apart and extract that precious wood. I think I'm gonna hate that part. It's free, but you're gonna work hard for it. Montage! later I'm sorry I totally forgot to film how much wood that gave us unfortunately not much but you know I was getting nervous my wife was there she was hissing at me for no apparent reason <laughs> <laughs> all right all right that's a joke honey let's get back to the bill all right, if you think I was using an almost brand new carport for this project, uh, yeah, n no, not, not really. Instead, I will use this one. The tarp is worn out and it's not even waterproof anymore. And maybe you spot it, but uh, it's a bit crooked. Yeah, slightly. I don't know, it's been sitting there for three years and it's the first time that the roof of my shop avalanche its snow down on that carport. Thank you, COVID. No, it's not its fault. Are you sure? All right, so let's do another bit of montage to clean up and disassemble that mess. If you're wondering how I'm gonna fix that Ben carport, well, let's just say that uh, it's not the only carport that has been damaged during our Canadian winter. So I think I've got plenty of spare parts. Now for the garden soil. For that one, I tried something different. I didn't know if it was a good move to make, but I had the soil delivered exactly on the spot where the greenhouse will be built. The thinking behind that was that I will build wooden boxes around the soil, trying to minimize the shoveling as much as possible. Let's see how it went. To build a greenhouse around 500 bucks, I used all the pieces of wood I could find, leftovers from older projects. I had some planks from the porch that I built a while ago, and some cedar planks from another project, which are great outside for their rust-resistant property. This wood was mainly used to build the boxes, and I used the padded wood to build the greenhouse itself. I also used poly... 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 polyethylene... Poly, I, I, I use vapor barrier. Inside the boxes to protect the wood against moisture. I also did that for my garden six years ago and the wood is still in perfect condition. I also wrapped two by trees to create cross beams, linking both sides of the boxes so they won't split apart after a few years. Never forget to provide a comfortable setting for your loved one. You know, with shedding and all. We tried to lay down newspaper as much as we could to prevent the grass from growing through the boxes. Well, I guess you can say it's the only downside of having the soil already on site. Oh, and everybody was working that day. After trying that way, I don't think I saved that much time. Between building the boxes first and shoveling and transporting the soil after, because it took a bit more time building the boxes, but way less shoveling. So yeah, choose your method depending on what you want to work less on. Good, the boxes are done. 
Now I need to take care of those pen trusses. Using my trailer. Yeah. Actually, I didn't have enough spare parts to rebuild the curved section for the truss. So I will unbend and reinforce them to make sure that they won't get crooked again. Okay, I'm happy the way they turned out. So let's reassemble the steel structure of the carport on top of the wooden boxes. So you may be familiar with that kind of structure, but having a second pair of hands is really helpful, especially for the first row when the structure is not holding itself up. Oh, and by the way, one good tip, to improve the look of your greenhouse and to extend the wood plank's life, you should lay down the first coat of paint before any cutting. Before anything, the second coat and the touch-ups will be applied after the wooden structure will be built. And judging by the sunset, that took me a while to do, but it was worth it. Yes, I needed way more wood than I was expecting. I only had to buy some 1x3s and 2x3s. Everything else, wood-wise, I had it in stock or it was taken from the pallet. Today's a new day, and it's time to build the face of the greenhouse and complete it with the door. Just before installing the sidewalls, I anchor down the steel structure to the boxes. And to make sure that the greenhouse won't fly away with the framing of the wooden box, I screw planks underneath each boxes. Better safe than sorry. For the wall, I'm using 6mm vapor barrier. Note that depending on the supplier, some may be clearer than others and I just don't know why. On some greenhouse, you can open the sidewalls by rolling them up. I decided to go with roof fence since the heat always goes up. I thought it would be a more efficient way to do and at least it will be easier to build doors on a roof than making a rolling system that won't flap around during windy days. I did try the vents and even with a plus 10 degrees Celsius of extra heat inside the greenhouse, with both roof vents and the door open, it's a question of only minutes before bringing the greenhouse temperature same as outside. Quick tip, you saw me screw pieces of wood to steel tubes. Sometimes I pre-drill holes and use good old standard deck screw. But for thinner planks, I didn't want to end up with pointy screws sticking out everywhere on the greenhouse. Instead for planks, I'm using self-tapping screws. And for the threads, the finer the better. Because with fine, more threads will bite the steel. Good, the sidewalls are done. Now for the roof. 
Here in Canada, we can have some really harsh winters and a lot of snow. So instead of using the 6mm vapor barrier, I went with the corrugated clear PVC, thinking that it should have a better chance of resisting a couple of inches of snow. But I won't let the snow pile up too much, and I will clean up the greenhouse roof from time to time. I tested out the rigidity of the PVC and it seems that gaps around 24 inches looks okay to me. I ended up putting only one row of planks in the middle of the roof. You have to remember that it's a balance between having a roof sturdy enough for the winters, but capable of letting a maximum of light passing through it. So you don't want to have too much support for that section. Now for the roof vents. The only challenge I had with it is that a cardboard structure is far from square. <coughs> So even though I took measurements of the structure first and I make sure to fabricate square vents, I ended up playing a bit with the squareness of the vents to make them fit with the structure. Yeah, I know it's not a precise machine part, but you know, the engineer in me doesn't like when things are not square and level. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I made a rookie mistake. You see, I should have bought and cut longer strips of PVC so that they can extend out from the roof and go all the way up. To work around that problem, I added a strip of vapor barrier between both sides of the PVC roof to protect the metal wooden section and to ensure that the water will flow down and not sit there and rot in the wood. I guess we learned from our mistakes. Quickly guys, this is my automatic watering system that I built two years ago with an Arduino. Yes, I had that Arduino phase. But I'm hearing you saying, isn't that the same thing that you can buy at the store? Nah, kind of. So again, quickly, this is the bottom to start a watering cycle of 20 minutes. Obviously, this is a cancel button if you want to stop it. As you can see, the lights are flashing. And this is something that I programmed in the Arduino to validate that I've got no burnt light. Now here is the screen showing time and the moisture of the soil. I set the system to check at 6.30 in the morning, at noon and at 6.45 in the evening to verify the soil moisture and if it's below 75%, the system will automatically water the garden for 20 minutes. All right, I won't lie to you guys. I bought cheap sensors and they've got a fluctuation on the moisture percentages that is just crazy. It's really not a good, reliable sensor. I should have graded to a better one. And the last, but the coolest feature of them all are the lights. Every time the system turns on, one light will turn on according to the time of the day. So when I come back from work, from my own living room, I can see how many times the system automatically watered the garden during the day. And that's exactly why I built, not bought, a custom watering system. And there it is. This is our 10 by 16 feet greenhouse. It cost us around 500 bucks. Four screws, a vapor barrier roll, five sheets of clear PVC, a couple of two by trees and some paint. You can add to that the cost of the soil if you don't already have it and the wood for the boxes if you want to make them. It took me and my wife two weekends and some evenings to build. So I highly recommend doing this build as a family project. Also, during the short period of time that we had the greenhouse, we easily saw a good plus 20 degrees Celsius difference with the outside temperature, which is great because that will extend considerably the gardening season. And finally, I really love that new place that we built, and I can't wait to plant some vegetable and see them grow. Hope you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and maybe liking this video, <laughs> and see you on the next project. Till then, go do something with your hands, your head, or both. See ya! Je suis pris ce morceau-là, juste une petite slice, puis aller un peu plus vite. S'il te plaît. Ok, plus vite. Non! Tu peux pas rentrer dedans, tu vas te faire mal. C'est juste pour le son. <rire> Moi aussi? Mais...